my loves and welcome back to my youtube so today we're doing a pick a card reading about uh what energy you give off okay so the vibes you give off overall when you enter a room all that good stuff okay as always we're going to try to focus on the positive but if the negatives come up you know i tell it all <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it and i will see you in your reading Hello, group number one, and a welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at, you know, what energy you give off, okay? And this is in all different types of settings, okay? Your general um, type of energy. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with my work cards first. What was that? I just got like this huge whiff of like orange people might think that you really smell good <laughs> i know that we're supposed to be talking about energy but there it is again you smell really good okay like that is such a strong smell sorry y'all that smell was so strong i had to make sure like nothing was burning um but yeah people think that you smell amazing <laughs> so uh energy aside whatever you wear to make your small self smell good keep doing that honey okay so we have the four of pentacles the three of cups and the wheel of fortune uh people tend to think that you have a lot of friends or that you are well um socially connected okay so it's giving off this energy of um really i don't know being being very well known Okay, this well-known energy and also just like easy to talk to, right? Like some people are socially awkward. Like I'm very socially awkward and <laughs> I'm not always like, you know, the best person to like talk to, right? But you just have that very like open and like kind of come hither uh, type of energy. But I think it's very like peppy and positive. I'm thinking like, uh, are you a good witch or you are a, a bad witch? You know, you're the good witch. Okay. Um, people especially like your, your voice tone. Okay. Something about your voice. It's like, it's giving very much like, how do I put it? I don't want to say, I guess I could say a bit of siren, but I don't see that like sneaky, like seductress, like I'm going to, you know, take you type of energy. It's just more so more pure. Okay. So like angelic type of energy, um, but cutesy, right? So I'm automatically picking up on that. Okay. Uh, judgment. And then the queen of cups. People... People feel like your perception of them could make or break their reputation, okay? It's kind of like that, uh, what is that? The queen in the Alice, of, Alice in Wonderland, um, when she was like offing everybody's heads, is you'd be like off with their heads. Like, it's kind of like... <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to say this, but it's kind of like they're Ariana grande in you in a way because it's like, they're like, there's no way that this person is like that sweet. Like, I don't know, something about you is sweet, but it's also like people think that you're a little like, you know, don't disturb the queen type of energy. <laughs> like, it's really funny to me, kind of, because I do think that you are a very sweet person. I think that you are just maybe brutally honest, like... Maybe you're just one of those people who's just like, I, like, like, you can't sugarcoat. Like, sugarcoating you feels like committing, I don't know, a sin. I don't know. Uh, you could be very religious. <laughs> um, but yeah, people definitely kind of see, like, oh, you're very sweet and bubbly, but like, there's this dark streak and they're afraid to like cross it. So you do have a lot of like power and clout, all right? Did I just say clout? Someone canceled me. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Um, you have the sun card, all right. I feel like you could be um, showing more of yourself or your personality lately. Okay, maybe you were in a uh, darker space and you've recently found yourself coming out of it, right? Like, I think people are seeing that. Like, they're seeing more of you and they're liking what they're seeing. Like, again, like... 
I feel like this transformation could have happened so fast, like maybe in like the course of like a year or something. And people are like, is this even like the same person? Like just something about your overall energy. Like you got an energetic upgrade of some sort. Okay. I'm definitely just sensing someone who has just learned how to control energy better. Okay, even if you're having nervous breakdowns every five minutes, like you're, <laughs> you're controlling that energy better than you were before. I'm getting so lost in your reading, by the way. Like, in a good way. Like, I like when this happens. I mean, the channel is coming through like butter. And that's because I have a million candles lit. I didn't even... Ugh, I'm such a bad witch. Um, if you're doing a reading... Or if you're like, you know, doing anything like channeling wise, light a bunch of candles because it balances out the energy and you'll be able to do it for longer. Like what? This is just stuff. Excuse me. I can't curse on the tube. Uh, this is just stuff they don't be teaching you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's keep going. So I am going to pull some Oracle cards here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You have the witch doctor, all right, which is wisdom. Yeah, there's something very, I know something you don't know type of energy about you, okay? Like, <laughs> you could be um, an earth sign. Earth signs tend to give off that um, authoritative, you know, I know everything type of energy. And as a Virgo, I can confirm that we, we are arrogant in that, even when we're not trying to be. Um, but yeah, so people think that you just radiate a lot of wisdom, like a lot of purple, okay, crown chakra and everything like that. But like, just very queen, you know, queen, know who you are, uh, authoritative type of energy. There we go. Very intelligent. Um, Omo Oloran, which is sing. Okay, I'm just going to say siren. All right. Okay, I'm not talking about mermaids. I'm talking about sirens. So, like, something about your voice, like I said, is very um, alluring. All right. It's like, <sighs> I don't know. It's almost like your aura lights up a bit more when you just start talking. You know, some people, their aura lights up more when they're quiet. And that's why some people should shut up. <laughs> Some people's auras light up when they speak. And maybe you don't say too much. Like, I think you're really social. You have good manners and everything like that. But, like, maybe, I don't know. You're not going to waste your breath on people, okay? Um, maybe you're, like, lower energy, you know. <laughs> and you're like, I'm not going to waste my energy on this, that, and the third but yeah, I'm definitely hearing that people are drawn to your voice. Let's get some soul flower cards, okay? Give me a second. Okay. Whoa. So you have a zinnia, which is lightheartedness. Okay, this card is about uh, spontaneity, your inner child, and everything like that. Um, it's almost like I... Mm. I see you being someone who you never let people dim your light too much okay you know how like kids are like well at least most kids or maybe half kids these days but like kids are usually very happy and giddy and like nothing can really break their spirit too much like you know like that like very you won't break my soul vibe people definitely see that from you okay that like even on your bad days like your aura is still like really beaming out okay you're still uplifting people that's very interesting i got lost in that that little part right there you might not think that about yourself though you might think that like you <sighs> kind of have to keep up the positivity a bit too much for the sake of others because you're more like you're very considerate to other people Take that how it's resonating, but I definitely see that you, you mean what you say, you say what you mean, and you cherish those who are worth it. And I think that that's a perfectly fine way to be. Okay, let's keep going. I want to see like in love and stuff, like how, uh, what your energy is to partners, okay? Potential partners. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okay, so you have the change card here. You have key. <laughs> and you have pay attention. I feel like you might... Because you're so nice, I think you can unintentionally attract people who like mooch off of you okay i'm just gonna be honest like you have this the energy you give off like i said it's like good witch right so like people like skeezy sleazy people might think that they can get one over on you and like uh you know basically just try to take over everything that you've had like you've created for yourself um and basically not even give you that much like you might have a problem with limerence and like really just being um addicted to people <laughs> okay um and those are like deep childhood wounds that like need to be healed and you have the ability to heal you're on the right track already but like just be uh, be careful because your energy does give off like very lovey-dovey eyes very rose colored glasses very innocent okay and i think that's because how that's how you are like the eyes are the window to the soul so your eyes give off this very like innocent type of look to them which is you know it is what it is okay let's keep going all right let me pull let me pull some soul flower or some more soul flower cards okay okay so you have velvet leaf which is self-love basically what i just said so you need to heal those wounds make sure that you're giving more to yourself okay this is kind of why like i was <laughs> told to like to, like skip over or dance over the love portion because like i said i think you can have a problem with limerence okay and that's like self-love issues um but let's keep going okay let's see with like your money your career like what energy you are giving off with that you have queen of pentacles here okay uh people definitely view you as abundant very blessed type of energy oh my god I don't know if I paused that. My money candle that I had lit, as soon as I said, like, you're a boss, like, the shit started popping. Excuse me. <laughs> Y'all had, I'm going to keep that whole section in the clip, like, because y'all are about to be multi-millionaires. Like, that scared me. Oh, my gosh. Um, If you needed confirmation about you get big baller money <laughs> who are you like you definitely get big baller money oh my god okay let's continue i'm so sorry y'all that was just a little I, that's literally for a money spell i'm doing <laughs> and it just started sparkling like it was fourth of july up in this bitch i'm so sorry excuse me uh let's keep going your money aura energy <laughs> guess the spell worked uh you have the five of swords here people might be competitive with you when it comes to money they might be uh pocket watching so you know you might be a person who's like not afraid to say how much they make and like that's big d energy okay if you can tell people how much you make like i think that's a lot of power i really do three of swords and the five of swords you might have cut like been someone who came from poverty Okay, so very self-made type of energy here. Yeah, you definitely came from poverty, um, but you are breaking out of poverty, which is very hard to do. Like, you can't convince me that escaping poverty isn't both a, you know, spiritual and, you know, put in the work, like on the ground, whatever type of combination. It definitely is because it's literally like you transcending, like you're transcending an energy vibe. Like, and I've been studying vampirism lately, but like, it's a very vampirite. 
it's a very like vampire like uh exchange between the ultra wealthy and the poor you know and i think we'll break that one day uh, but basically, um, you're transcending, uh, money energies. You're becoming more abundant. All right. Um, but yes, let's wrap up with a few last things to note with your crazy wild reading. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see. You have the world card. Okay, you have the world card. You have the page of swords. Um, I think you're getting your energy back up, like a revival, okay? Um, you could be in a period of... You could have been in a period of, like, being frozen. Maybe that's how people saw you, like, black and white frozen for a little while. Um, but you're definitely coming out of that. And it's kind of like thawing, thawing for spring, right? We all kind of thaw out when spring comes. Um, but I think you more so in a way that people just can't deny. And I think you're actually being an inspiration to a lot of people around you to kind of thaw out, thaw out, uh, move on, grow up, you know, <laughs> things like that, grow like a flower grows. But um, yes, my loves, this is what I see for you. I hope that this reading resonated and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hello, group number two, and welcome to your reading. So we're looking at what type of energy you give off, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, all right? We're just trying to see the vibes you're giving off, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and see. Group number one had a very uh, odd reading in a good way. But so I'm a little nervous for yours in a good way. <laughs> so you have the strength card here. All right. You have the justice card. And then you have the five of wands. Interesting. Um, so I feel like people always think that they're having debates with you for some reason. Like there's this type of conflict that they feel with you okay like ugh, you could you could give off know-it-all vibes as well okay similar to group number one with giving off know-it-all vibes um but yeah i feel like you give that off a little bit and people feel like they're debating or you just also might be like a devil's advocate a little bit okay uh you might just Bring up points that no one's considering just for the sake of good conversation. And maybe you even get a bit of a buzz, like a dopamine rush from challenging um, other people's opinions, okay? Like, yeah, kind of like you give off this kind of trickster, like Loki energy a little bit. Like people don't always necessarily know uh, how to trust you. I keep seeing the color green. If you think about like any big like trickster type of character they always have something green like green is very common so people could view you as maybe a person who um they they struggle making deals with you because they're just like is this person gonna back out of it it's, it's giving very much much like sneaky fox type of vibes okay you get very fox like energy yeah <laughs> You have the page of wands here and then you have the death card here i think you almost like mm, how do i put this you give off this like you know your final destination like you're very satisfied with how you want your life to pan out like you've planned it really well okay uh, you could be capricorn capricorns are really good with planning stuff and you know organizing stuff um, but I think you've just always had a certain vision for your life and for some reason, and I think this is a good reason, like it's kind of worked out for you. Like, I'm not saying you haven't had struggles, but like maybe you had this certain idea of what to do as a kid and you always said that you were going to do it and you've taken the steps to do it and now you're doing it. Sorry for saying do it, doing it so much, but I definitely see you as um, someone who has clear direction. Like 
everyone gets thrown off, but you have clear direction and other people see that as well. Now I'm hearing squeaking. What in the world? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Disturbia. <laughs> this is re this reading is haunted. <laughs> okay. All right. So you have um, Speedball, which is Insight. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to read the whole card because this one barely pops out. Life seems to speed by. Bird Eye Speedwell helps you to slow down, to be patient, and to become aware of the bigger picture. She shares her grounding energy so that the ego cannot get in the way of true insight and facilitates true healing by expanding the conscious beyond personal beliefs and conditioning. Very interesting. That goes back to that judgment card. You have clear good. You have good judgment. And I feel like sometimes you give unsolicited advice to people and they're not ready for it. You might even give prophetic advice to people and they're not ready for it. And so then they lash out at you for not being ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Like <sighs> some tips here, maybe try to restrain from giving people or ask people like, hey, do you want my advice type shit? You know what I'm saying? Because um, I feel like some people are kind of like, oh, like I didn't want this advice, but here, you know, group number two is, uh, you know, giving it to me okay so you have transmutation which is hydrogen i can never pronounce that hydrangea all right so this is about transmuting emotions not being affected by your energy um you're really good at def deflecting things okay i think that uh sometimes people that that interrupts your relationships with other people but i feel like you're not a person who stays down for too long okay maybe like red okay you could have a red in your um aura which is a, a really strong color about confidence okay it's a very striking color as well okay it says look at me mm -hmm. let's keep going i'm gonna get this other oracle deck okay okay so you have tolerance which is a uh, thrive brady and then you have nana broco which is essence and then you have equalizer which is highest self so tolerance essence and highest self fascinating um i definitely feel like there's two ancestors coming through um and your higher self and i think that they are just here to tell you like hey like you're not doing this alone. Like, I know you can't, like, see us, see us, but, like, we're here. Like, <laughs> like they're definitely, like, just lift your head up a little bit. You'll see us right there. Um, so, yeah, there's a need to rely more on your ancestors, maybe to dust off and clean off your ancestor altar, maybe put some uh, more offerings up there um, as well, okay? Uh, this definitely is a sign for you to utilize the people and the, the uh metaphysical tools around you a bit more all right boom okay you have the blueprint unconditional love card all right i think you give off i do think that you give off good loving energy i just think that it is a tough love type of energy okay and that's perfectly fine <laughs> like i think honestly sometimes like your love might be too much for people like you might um just love super hard and people can sense that as well um but i definitely see that people when even when you're not in somebody's life or in someone's presence they still feel you okay like your energy is that strong like i'm I'm that way too, so <clears throat> unfortunately, <laughs> I empathize because that's a lot to carry when someone's like, oh, I always feel you here, and you're like, sometimes you don't feel the same, and that is fine, okay? Um, but again, really like bright, like red, orangey type of colors. Um, also, beware of being too hyper-independent, I'm hearing, you know, that kind of goes back to the ancestors being there to help you. Uh, I just, I feel like you might... Be taking on too much 
by yourself and that is not going to be good for your energetic field it's not going to be good for you in general okay um but let's keep going all right i want to see how people in like love view you like a romantically specifically like your energy okay <laughs> all right you have the three of swords and you have the five of swords here a heartbreaker people will feel like you will break their heart like i feel like yeah i'm definitely hearing this like heartbreaker type of vibes like bad boy bad girl type of vibes um and people kind of like that all right they like that you'll break their heart so you might you might draw some masochistic people like some people who know that this isn't going to end well like what is that <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not funny, but I just remember seeing so many memes of the fault in our stars. <laughs> and like, you might like, they know that the relation's going to end tragically. They know that this is a tragedy they're, that they're entering into, but they can't help, um, <clears throat> but you know, move on with you. Three of pentacles here. I feel like you attract a lot of wealthy people. All right. Or people who have a lot of abundance and connections okay are very social um they kind of view you as someone who would up their status in some type of way um i think that's because you're so skilled uh with your intelligence and charming at the same time but yeah you tend to like pair up really well with people who also are on a certain type of level okay which yes um especially if you can keep that one you know protecting your energy but let's keep going um you have mugwort which was which is integration all right um i'm gonna read this one aloud there is a rhythm and balance to all life a dance between physical reality and the spiritual world mugwort opens and expands your consciousness to embrace all that you are light and dark body and spirit helping you to integrate all aspects of your multi-dimensional consciousness into your everyday practical life beautiful beautiful oh that's i love that explanation for mugwort that's why i have to read it every time i work with mugwort like almost <sighs> weekly let's just say weekly and it's like you're you're calling upon upon <laughs> upon all different versions of yourself and getting help for whatever current reality you're in. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love mugwort. If you follow me other places, like you know that I talk about mugwort a lot in other herbs, but mugwort is just one of those mugworts. Amiana blue lotus. Those are my babies. <laughs> okay. Well, let's keep going. Let's see how people view your like money energy, okay? I already said like wealthy, but like I want to get deeper into that. Like what specifically? You have Ace of Cups and you have um, Six of Pentacles. I heard technology for some reason. So people kind of feel that you're like, I don't know, like ethical. <laughs> I feel like they think that you're ethical with your finance with your finances okay um they definitely feel that way um and i just felt like this like techie noise when i said that um yeah but they feel like you're very tech savvy and that's how you have human you have accumulated a lot of your of your wealth so maybe you work online maybe you just use the internet a lot uh for work but whatever it is people are like this person knows how to use a computer <laughs> even if you're not tech savvy they think that you are um but yeah let me pull one last Oops, excuse me card for you oh so beautiful you have creation partnered which is um sdx magic card okay uh yeah people just like your like type of like flow all right you might have had a lot of boyfriends or partners in the past girlfriends whatever um and it's because like you just have like this like nice like flow to you all right people can kind of get addicted to your love like that heartbreaker type of energy um but you do radiate a lot of love like i think your heart chakra is not necessarily blocked i don't think it's blocked i think it's actually overactive 
um <laughs> something to think about but you're not like if you think you're repelling people you're not repelling people okay but this is what i have for y'all okay i hope that you like this reading i do give personal readings um but yeah thank you so much for listening and i hope you have a great rest of your day bye group number three and welcome to your reading okay so we're going to be looking at what type of energy you give off all right um and i've been looking at love money and just like general energy <laughs> okay so like different vibes different um energies but let's go ahead and see everything has been so interesting today so let's see what's going on with you <laughs> okay so we have the hangman, all right. I, heard, I keep hearing baby blue, bird baby blue, blue bird or something. Um, you have the three of swords and you have the three of pentacles. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like you're giving like sad, sad boy, sad girl vibes. Like... I keep seeing like this blue, like my eyes are just being tinted with this blue right now. Um, people are kind of viewing you as like perpetually sad. Like, you know, mimes, I'm like, this is going to sound like I'm roasting y'all and I'm really not, but I definitely feel like you give off like the, like someone like <sighs> you might just be naturally sad okay and i think you're naturally sad because you have a certain level of depth and understanding in the world that a lot of people don't have like y'all when you have a different and type type of intelligence okay an emotional intelligence um okay and if you pick this group i would bet money that you are emotionally intelligent all right you can become very sad Okay, you can become very sad because of that. And, you know, some of some of you, we haven't gotten more cards on this yet, but some of you really might have to go off into this place in your own little mind because you're like, I know too much. Like, I see too much. It's consuming me. Okay, so I know people have probably told you to compartmentalize, but I feel like it's deeper for you, all right? But yeah, people view you as very blue, very sad. All right, let's get some Oracle cards. I usually don't get them this early, but they're needed. Okay, so you have Manifestor, which is creation. And you have Blueprint, which is unconditional love. People kind of view you, like the vibes you give off a little bit are kind of like that girl um, who has so much and can't see it it's like you i don't want to gaslight anybody because you might have a very sad life but i definitely feel like you might have an inability to look at the positives in things like someone could hand you a million dollars and you'd be like oh well f this i gotta pay taxes on like you might want to start changing your perception and i get it y'all like i'm i can be very cynical i'm like squidward from spongebob you know at the core of me so <laughs> i definitely get it but like don't get caught up in there you know have a balance with this fantasy world but i almost feel like you dreaming more and you being more creative is kind of helping to ba balance out this cynicism but it's still heavily there i keep i keep hearing new york city okay you know how new york city is like beautiful and sad at the same time like, I feel like, no, I feel like New York City just naturally has this, like, sad vibe. And it's, like, in one of those states that has, like, very distinct seasons. Like, have you ever been in New York in the winter? Oh, my. God. It's beautiful and terrifying at the same time. But anyway, um, let's go into how people in love view you, the love vibes you give off um you have the most interesting stimulating reading out of all three groups so far by the way um so you have page of cups here all right and then you <laughs> and then you have the ten of swords i'm laughing because you reject a lot of people what is with you in group number two rejecting people like this 
you reject people a lot like i mean i think you have your good reasons for it but it definitely like people like i see someone like practicing in the mirror before they ask you to like go get dinner or something because they're afraid that you're gonna be like Oh, like you're too broke for me or something. Like you have very like cutthroat type of energy, very cutthroat type vibes. Um, which I get it, you know, dating is very wild. You have the world card here. Okay, you're very alluring to multiple mult <laughs> multiple different types of um people. Like people in multiple countries would find you attractive. You have you might have like this multicultural type of look to you a little bit. And then you have the moon card. And then you have the two of wands. Kind of mysterious. People really want to know how your future is going to be. If you're on social media, they might watch you like a TV show. Like, what's going to happen next in the trials and tribulations of Bethany? You know what I'm saying? Like, they really kind of tune into you like that. Um, but they know it's going to be like... Uh, a more darker tv show like i said you kind of give like this like tromedy tromedy like a trot like a tragedy but like kind of like a comedy a little bit as well um very much just like what's gonna like happen next so people are allured by you in that way like very mysterious type of vibes let's see your money what type of money vibes do you give off to the people mm -mm 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 okay so you have <laughs> nine of cups which is celebration ten of cups which is celebration ten of wands reversed and then you have nine of swords reversed and then the king of wands you know how to party okay you kind of are the life of the party a little bit like people are always going to be like oh is so-and-so going to come because so-and-so brings the vibes how do you do both things at the same time it's like, okay, you might be a party goer. Like, maybe you party too much because I'm getting two different energies. Like, I'm getting you being like a sad boy, sad girl. Okay, like, oh my gosh, I'm so blah, blah, blah. But then you get like a drink in you or like one or two drinks in you or like maybe a puff or two and you're like, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely feel like you give off this... uh let me how do i say it uh let me just be free type of energy when you're in a, like party like settings okay you might like have a tendency to go a little wild so it's like sad party girl like what's that one song it's my party and i'll cry if i want to um by melanie martinez i know we have our thoughts about melanie martinez but um yeah i definitely feel like it gives kind of that vibe ow I hurt my finger. I'm supposed to be doing my nails today. Sorry. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You have bliss and you have solo magic. Um, people think that you have really good uh, ideas, all right, business ideas, all right, and that you can always kind of like make money. Like, I see multiple streams like flowing to you, right? So like you're always gonna find a way to make money um, because you just have that creative, like generative mind. And you're not afraid to like put something out there, let it fail and try again. Like if you look at any successful business, like how many businesses do we see uh, releasing an update we hate, right? But we still keep using the application. Like not everything you put out there is gonna be gold. It's just not going to be, okay? so. That's just something to, like, pat yourself on the back about. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, blue, definitely blue aura. Um, and then you have the hermit card here. Yeah. I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Let me let me do a deep channel. Hold on for a second. I definitely see someone who... People do feel like they can relate to you a lot. So, like, there's, like, this blueness. But, like I said, people kind of tune into you. Like, they're more, like, drama-type TV show. Okay? I see, like, people, like, eating hot Cheetos. Like, I don't know. If you're on social media, people eat hot Cheetos and watch your stuff. Because they're like, what is so-and-so going to do this week? But um, I definitely just see 
um, people wanting to know more about you. Okay, I feel like you're, uh, you know, I think it was group number two's heart, which was overactive. Yours is like underactive. Like, I feel like you've given a lot of people the cold shoulder and it makes sense. Okay, and I feel like you think that like celebrations and parties and blah, 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 are like, I don't know, the only way that you can connect with other people. And like, that's not true. It's just a little harder when you're not, you know, with the libations and everything like that. Um, but you definitely do give off this type of energy of, uh, you know, tragic story, but like going to be fine. Okay. It's kind of like I want to cut your reading short, but I want to give y'all more. Um, let me pull some more soul flower cards. They always give me nice extra messages that weren't there before. Okay. So you have nurturance, which nurturance which is ladies mantle okay so that's about great reassurance and joyfulness okay um yeah like i said you do have like this more sad type of energy but people also feel comforted by you <laughs> sometimes people just need to sit in their sorrow you know how like people listen to sad love songs um you know just to get the feelings out you know like i can't listen to love songs y'all like <laughs> Like the sad love songs, I refuse. Like, give me, give me away. I have to listen to the upbeat ones. Like, you're, you're someone's like sad love song. I know you're, you're thinking about that, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, did she just call me an energy drainer? No, I just feel like you give off sadder vibes, sad boy, sad girl vibes, and it is what it is. Okay, I want to get some of my cards that I made. Um, I. If I can find all of them. <laughs> no, I can't. This always happens, me being unorganized. Okay, I'm not gonna get them then. But um, yes, y'all, this is what I have for the most. Mm, hold on. Mm -mm -mm. You have the King of Cups here. And then you have the two of swords, indecisiveness. Okay. Um, people do kind of view you as someone who is a little wishy-washy. All right. You might be a water sign. You just might be wishy-washy about things. And they do, like I said, like, I, w I think you're wishy-washy in good and bad ways. Like, good ways, like, I feel like you're creative. Bad ways, I feel like you can't make up your mind sometimes. Or you, maybe you're not that reliable, okay? Um, so, there are some problems with that. But, <laughs> overall, I think you're going to be fine. I think other people think that you're going to be fine. Which is why they keep tuning back in. They have hope for the ending, okay? Um, but, I hope this reading resonated, y'all. Sorry that it was a bit short. Um, but I hope that it helps you and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.